Hey guys, welcome to your Genesis US videos. Um, what you're gonna learn in here is you, you wanna go through the Genesis traditional to get all the stuff down and how to do FBA and stuff like that. Even if you're not gonna source from China, go through the Genesis traditional and then come back here and go through Genesis US. And what this is, is traditional is gonna teach you all the semantics. It's kinda like pro teaches you on how to sell on eBay and then you get up to elite and stuff like that. Well, Genesis traditional teaches you all the nuts and bolts. Genesis US starts supplying you with suppliers. If you're nervous about ordering in China, you know, you can order now in the United States. So ordering in the US. And there's several advantages, obviously, ordering the US. There's some disadvantages. One, uh, more trustworthy. But you learn in traditional, or um, yeah, traditional that there's not really any fear there. Um, smaller quantities in general, you know, you could just buy one, um, and you won't get the as good a price break. But it's kind of offset by the shipping from China. Um, you know, you're going to pay some shipping from China. You might pay more here in the USA on US sites and things like that. Not as much as a variety, also. So also the, the great thing about US is I'm going to be adding much more content more rapidly here um, as I build relationships with different companies. So we've, we've made a lot of money using the US sites. We've made a lot of money using the Chinese uh, suppliers. We've made a lot of money with the scanning app, everything else. So um, Genesis US is, is for people, you know, you got a few hundred dollars in your pocket. You don't want to risk it all going to China right away. So you, you grab a dollar or two dollar item at a local um, U.S. site, okay? Or if you're international, you leap across the pond, of course. So this is what you're going to expect in Genesis U.S. It's an extension of traditional, but um, U.S. soil um, suppliers. All right, guys, check out the remainder of the videos and have an amazing day. Take care. Hey guys, welcome to your Genesis USA. We are on a site called Coal Imports, K-O-L-E-I-M-P-O-R-T-S dot com. And if you saw those pink silicone muffin teacups we did in the, uh, the Genesis traditional video where you source from uh, Alibaba and things like that, we actually got those teacups from this place here and they were... Uh, I think about two dollars and twenty cents a box and we've actually sold them as high as 1995 each on Amazon and Amazon fulfills all of that we brought the price way down to rank them up even higher um, that you see the price in the video earlier and coal imports is based out of California and you can drop ship a single order from here if you like but this is a great place for Amazon fulfillment. I mean, look at these tool belts here that are $5.90 each, for example. So if I head over to Amazon.com, and I can spell Amazon.com, <laughs> and I type in tool belt, and I start looking for something comparable, here's a poly tool belt that's $22.99. So I could literally go ahead and, and get a bulk load full of these or I get a sample and try sending in the sample or get a sample just to test it, whatever. Um, I could get uh, a sticker made up online, a la fiber with some branding with a, a screwdriver there and a, a hammer there or something just for branding so no one else could copy my tool belt, drive those up in rank and then turn around and sell those, okay? just a minimum of four orders I mean you can do one piece for 708 but if you got four of them they'd be five dollars and ninety cents each and this is a company that's been around for 28 years again located in California real simple stuff it's just a matter of going on and ordering they what I love about this site is they always have more and more products coming in now we'll have a coupon code down below this video for DS members for a one-time order um, so what you want to do is if you're just getting warmed up to FBA and you want to order a sample order, order that through another computer or a friend or something like that. Then when you're ready to get your one-time big order that you're going to um, use for FBA, then you use your coupon code down below this. They're actually running a, 
a special right now. And I was on new arrivals and it showed 297 items. You can go over here to 25 cent blowout inventory, um, nail polish sets, you know, just book lights. It, it's just super simple. Uh, if you just kind of think outside the, the boundaries, I think one of the items that I was looking at that I was going to uh, run a test on myself, I, I get so, um, I get so excited about doing this myself, but I don't have enough time personally. Oh, it didn't come up. But there was actually a uh, barbecue light in here, and we could get it for 75 cents a piece, and it sells on Amazon for $20. <laughs> so I guess it's not available anymore, but that's okay because it doesn't matter if they run out of stock because you're ordering this yourself, right? In and out promotions, pallets. This camping chair, $10 each. Um, if I go over to Amazon and type in folding chair, um, here's one for $18 right here, uh, $30, $46, etc., etc. Number one bestseller is an $18 um, chair by Coleman. Look at this, it's almost the exact same chair. And if you just put a branded sticker across it just for the uh, the image and stuff like that and, and you know wolf pack or whatever you want to put there or lazy guy lazy girl whatever you want to brand yourself as um, you would just crush it with this so coal imports amazing source for you guys enjoy um, we worked hard to work with these guys and um, have fun use the training in the traditional genesis where you order from china as a basis for this for for pricing, for ordering in, for branding and stuff like that, okay? Now, in the, the video where you're ordering stuff from China, they will brand it for you. Since you're not ordering it from China, this company won't brand it for you. So you'll actually go online to Fiverr or Stickers R Us or Sticker Branding or Patches or whatever you want to use. Just go out and Google it. I'll find some good sites to add in here later on for you guys that a lot of people are using as we get going. But enjoy this, guys, and uh, how much fun, a $10 folding camping chair. Take care, guys. See you on the other side. Take Hey, guys, welcome back. I want to show you topperliquidators.com, T-O-P-P-E-R-L-I-Q-U-I-D-A-T-O-R-S. Dot com. You just go to this part of the URL right here. I told you to have a pen ready. You're supposed to write that down. Just kidding. Now this is a, an example. You can order a lot cheaper lots. I'll scroll around here later in the video. But this is a great example I like with someone that has you know money to invest. These mouse pads with uh, a wrist guard or wrist protector. Um, to it, two cents each. <laughs> okay so easily brandable any clever thing you can put here piece of cheese whatever uh anything you can think of to put there um two cents i mean i don't even know if i have to go any further and explain this but if i go over to amazon for example mouse pad uh, with wrist guard and put that in there and look at this one 13 dollars and nine cents 92 reviews only three left in stock. I mean, uh, do I have to kaboom <laughs> right in your head? I hope you're going, wow, holy jumpings. I'm looking for the rank on this item here. Uh, 77 in office products, okay? I mean, can you sell this? Can you, 14, 40, oh, you're two cents each, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, someone that has that money is like, okay, goodbye, I'm gonna order that right now, okay? And notice, I'm not ordering this stuff. I'm not, I'm not taking the time. And, Holy jumping! I'm gonna go get this. I'm just, I'm cutting the videos for you guys, okay? Um, back up if I go over to eBay, mouse pad, wrist guard, and there's probably some other thing. It's called ergonomic or whatever to search these. So, mouse pad with wrist guard. So uh, here's one here, twenty-two fifty. Um, click on that. Um, no sales on that yet. Um, and by the way, I'm doing this all live. Um, Tropical Beach. Uh, no sales on that one yet. But I mean, when you're here's some cheap ones. $13.99. Five available. I have to look at probably completed listings uh, to impress you guys. This looks like the one that's on Amazon. Um, two of those sold. 
And you know, those will slip into like a FedEx or anything envelope or um, USPS that charges like $3 or something to ship an envelope around the, the country. Okay, so um, this is um, again topper liquidators. And if I go ahead and you know, you can do as seen on TV products on Amazon. Okay. Um, oh, I really like this one. Okay. I looked at this one before. $274.99. Now, here's what I looked at this. Uh, four lots available, 384 pieces. Okay. So I went out and it turns out this used to be a QVC product. Okay. That's our as seen on TV. Here it is down here. If you click on it and go over there, <clears throat> I think they're out of stock at this site, but you'll see, oh, they're selling for $15. Okay. And they used to have like this, uh, they have, well, they used to have, they have Swarovski crystals in the case. Okay. So, um, I went out and I searched around and I couldn't find, uh, anybody selling them, um, at eBay or, um, through Amazon, stuff like that. Um, when I scrolled down, there's there's none there. So I went and I typed in light up tweezers. Now mind you, these have Swarovski crystals, okay, in these ones. And this is from China. You can ignore that, all right? Um, let me see the ones that I found that I was really excited about. Uh, again, China, 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 you ignore those. Uh, 595 light up tweezers. Okay, let me check on this here one. Uh, 84 sold. Okay, you're at 72 cents each. And I actually found them selling for like $10 or something on Amazon too. So easy giant markup. And with the shipping and getting these in here, you'd probably be at like $1.30 to get them into Amazon. Obviously, as a backup, you could sell them on um, eBay um, as a backup. You got to sell like 40 or 50 pieces to get your money back. Um, and here's 84 of them sold. And if I click on that, um, April 12th, April 8th, March, these are the recent sales on this. So if you got these and even had to sell them on eBay for three months or so, you would have all your money back, let alone using Amazon fulfillment. So I really love topperliquidator.com. Check it out, guys. Uh, I know you guys are getting like jacked up to proceed and do the stuff and rock it out. Anyway, oh, and on the uh, this here it comes with a case, so you could literally brand the case. Um, you know, put so put a sticker of uh, an eyeball with lashes coming out of it. Okay. And, I guess the ladies, um, I don't want to be chauvinistic, maybe the men, but I think the ladies like to use this because it's got this light so you can really see where you're plucking in the tweezers and it looks real high end, right, with the Swarovski crystals. <laughs> anyway, guys, talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Rock it out. Take care. Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you DollarTree.com. Um, some of you might be familiar with this. I don't think anybody's using it, but a ton <laughs> of branding opportunity on here. So I'm looking at a standard restaurant coffee mug. Okay. Now you can do anything with this. You can get it privately labeled. I love New York, whatever. Um, the hit movie that's been out for a while, Disney, um, called Frozen, I Survive Frozen. Or you can just sell them straight up per piece, um, per case for restaurants and things like that. But if I go over to Amazon and take a look, here's a diner coffee mug, $5.29 plus $7.39 shipping, 79 reviews um, for a coffee mug. Here's one if you thought that was a ridiculous price, pack of $6.39. 16 ounce, 11, 18, 10 bucks, eight bucks, ba ba da ba da ba da. Okay, ranked 9,500 in home and kitchen. Excellent reviews on this coffee mug. Not the exact same thing, but this is a diner coffee mug. It's all it is. And here's the exact same thing that you're going to get for one dollar a unit. Okay, UPS shipping, accepts PayPal. Ba ba boom, ba 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 boom. You know what to do. <laughs> all right. So, wow. All right, so this is just this is just layup stuff. You know, order 24 coffee mugs, a case for $24 for your home if you drink coffee, and then just drip them out there as much as you want, sell them on eBay, whatever you want to do. And uh, 
<sighs> just crazy easy money, right? So hope you're enjoying these videos and, and you're going, I am some glad I got Genesis. Super simple stuff, guys. Enjoy. Um, take care. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. By now you've ordered a million dollars of the stuff already because you're freaking out. But just in case you haven't yet and you're here and your grass is greener on the other side, just kidding, here's another great video for you. We're at Dollar Item Direct, D-O-L-L-A-R-I-T-E-M-D-I-R-E-C-T dot com. What I like about this site is it really updates their products. Look up the left side here, new in May 2014. I'm cutting this video May 19th. Um, here, I got an example up here. It's a leather bounded Florida State Seminoles journal. Okay, and they have all kinds of different kinds. Uh, I think they, that's the fact that a football logo on it has even more um, um, of, a, of an ability to sell it. But if you don't, there's plain ones and everything else in here, 98 cents each. If I go over and type in journal leather bound on um, journal bound leather on Amazon, here's a plain one for 11.29. This one's a little more, you know, saddle and everything else, whatever, for 36.97. This one's very comparable. If I click on this one, scroll down, um, bestseller ranking 6,060 in books, in books, in books. You know, if you watch the, um, the scanning video on uh, walking around in stores and using scan power, you can sell items that are ranked under 1 million in books. <laughs> okay, so we're super high ranking in books super easy to sell get one get two get ten whatever they're packaged 12 per case so you got to get 12 so oh no 12 bucks <laughs> all right fba at its finest guys enjoy 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 just easy money take care Hey guys, I'm going to welcome you to rockbottomdeals.biz. Rockbottomdeals, D E A L S dot biz, okay? Always has new stuff coming in, which I like, okay? Be smart when you're, you're thinking, you got to think about the packaging when you're on this site. So here's a some Godiva chocolates, really high end chocolates, okay? And it's. Um, a six pack, a case comes with six of these individual ones down here. You see the, the package of four chocolates. So for $16.50, you would get six of these ones right down here, the, the four pack of chocolates. So they come to $2.75 for this little packet here of four chocolates. Pretty expensive. Don't eat them. Okay. Now from there, guys, you, uh, you have to consider hey, am I gonna sell this box? Is this box cellophane wrapped? Um, are these individual boxes here cellophane wrapped? Okay, so you have to consider that um, when you're sending them into FBA. You're also gonna wanna get an expiration date. This site is very good about listing expiration dates and stuff like that. So you're gonna wanna check the expiration date on this with a phone call if it's not listed, which it is not in this case, okay? Uh, takes all major credit cards, check out with PayPal, etc., etc. Now, I go over to Amazon, and here's a two-pack of Godiva chocolates, um, selling for $8.49 plus $4.52 shipping, $14, okay? Five reviews on this particular item, $60,000 in food and grocery. Um, I didn't look them up over on, um, on eBay yet, but obviously... A absolute home run if you just don't eat the chocolates yourself <laughs> okay so uh, you guys are gonna love that site lots of money to be made here they always have um, new items coming in let me see I think they even have a section for that general food all products da -da 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 new products just in okay and let's go through and take a little look around here's that chocolate um, deal here um, Oil of Olay Regenerous 2-Pack. I know this is super expensive um, if you want to check that out. Um, this Oster Animal Care Comb, um, super expensive type product if you want to check that out. 
Um, there was a lot more new products on my, oh, view all. That's why I'm in some sort of section on here. View all. Uh, okay, just two pages of new products here right now. I've been all over this site. So <laughs> um, all kinds of great stuff for you guys um, within this site here. Rockbottomdeals.biz. Rock it out. Communicate with them. Um, give them a call. Reach out to them on Facebook. Shout out. Uh, make sure the packaging is right for you and everything else. Check the expiration dates on anything, any food type purchases. Okay. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Um, how's the money printing business going? Pretty crazy, huh? Right now, we're at for the number four s g is and guy m dot com www dot four s g m dot com okay super easy to set up an account um, on here all kinds of items they have a two hundred fifty dollar minimum purchase up here at the top okay and tons of items just always coming into this site new stuff new stuff new stuff and I really like that so if I take a look and give you guys one comparable example. Here's some uh, 98 ounce Tide, $10.20 each, okay? 98 ounces, $10.20 each, Ultra Tide Downy. If I head over to Amazon.com, you will see Ultra Tide Downy, 98 ounces on the bottom left, selling for triple the price. And then if you look down at the other sellers, they're all in the $31, $32 range. So you can probably get that shipped into you for about $12, $13 a unit. By the time you get into Amazon, you're into about $15 a unit. Um, this person's about to run out of stock and just turn around and sell it and sell it and sell it. 54 reviews, lots of uh, purchases on these products. So guys, enjoy this site. Um, w, I'm sorry, www.4sgm dot com have an amazing day take care hey guys welcome back we're on uh, ckbproducts.com www.c is in charlie k is in karate b is in boy products.com a gajillion products here okay and a lot of them very easily brandable. I mean, you put like a big smiley face on this travel cup down here in the bottom of the screen. Uh, $1.87 for a travel cup. Put a big picture of a steaming hot cup of coffee on this. Uh, just a sticker on these cups. And just sell them out the door. So $1.87 each. When I go over to Amazon and I type in stainless steel travel mug. Look at the massive reviews. Number one bestseller. Now this is a 16 ounce, okay? Um, they call it a, a, a thermos tumbler. It's still the same size. I mean, it doesn't look like a mug, right? So let's see what we can find that's somewhat comparable to what we have. This one's $9.99. It's got some little flary designs down here. Let's see if we can find something even more plain Jane um, on here. Okay, here's a this is an add-on it's only a 14 ounce it's five dollars um here's a set of two for 740 seven something each okay here's one here maxim stainless steel 24 ounce for 14.95 so you could put a sticker on that mug and sell that for 9.99 at least until the cows come home on that stainless steel mug okay lots of reviews lots of coffee drinkers um, very easy to sell and just you know do your research I was on the site here and I was looking at this compass keychain and um, it's selling on Amazon the exact same one for about five dollars and eighty seven cents and it says made in China on it um, so obviously you didn't have wouldn't have to put made in China on it and you could sell it for substantially more but it only had two reviews and they were lackluster so I didn't go any further with this compass keychain it was like two out of five reviews and stuff like that and the thermometer was broken things like that so read the comparable prices and things like that you can also engrave this mug here on this site for three dollars and fifty cents each I think that'd be a waste of money I think the selling point is going to be a big giant coffee sticker with steaming hot coffee coming out of it or something like that um, okay guys, um, keep rocking and super easy site, super cheap stuff um, for you guys to order and look at the left column here. Just 
ridiculous amounts of product. I'll just randomly click on one. Uh, boom. Scrapbook kits. They don't sell very well. <laughs> um, I'm just drinkware. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there's my coffee mug again. Kitchen tools. Um, baking supplies. Let's see what we have for baking supplies. 95 cent baking cups. Silicone bakeware. Um, teddy bear shaped. Now this is all off the cuff. 90 cents each. Uh, let's go over to Amazon and check it out. And put it in here. I try to do this just to make it look like you know the appearance of them not uh 24 case 40 dollars and 81 cents each they're selling for two dollars and they're selling them in bulk packs so no individual ones on here you know i would do like a three pack of these or something for 9.99 um so not comparable ones on here um silicone bakeware let's see well i won't i won't prolong the video but you guys can see the money opportunity here okay all right, guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, look, it's a world's lovely smokeless ashtray. The world's best smokeless ashtray. <laughs> We're over on uh, 99centmax.com, www.99centmax.com smokeless ashtrays four dollars and six cents a piece just throw a carton of cigarettes in there just kidding um and if i go ahead i'll do some pricing in this video for you so four dollars and six cents um sell it for uh i don't know 12.99 like this one for example or charge more i grabbed the asin number for this one and I went over to uh, the Amazon Fulfillment Calculator and I put in $12.99 and it shows that I'm going to get back $8.44. Okay, so if I go look and I go, okay, it's going to cost me at most like a dollar a unit to get them to my house. Um, and 50, it wouldn't even cost me 50 cents a unit to ship these into Amazon. Once you've shipped some stuff into Amazon, you'll realize how cheap the shipping is in Amazon. We'll say $1.50. So we're in $5.50 on this smokeless ashtray, and we're getting $8.54 back. So basically a $3 profit in every single one we sell. Um, and if I take a look here on Amazon at this, they have 50, they've probably sold 500, 1,000 of them. So 1,500 to $3,000. Um, and remember, you guys have us behind you and your reviews and everything else to boost you up in rank. So you'll should be able to blow right to the top of this first page. Look, 355 results for smokeless ashtray. Okay, so pretty easy stuff. Um, and 99centmax.com. It's you'll you could camp out here. I mean, they have things 59 cents and under, 79 cents and under, 99 cents and under, all kinds of stuff. Automotive supplies. Click on this. Take a look around. Uh, what do we got here? Visor cap things, booster cables, four dollars and six cents. Tire gauges, uh, the chenille car wash mitt, ninety nine cents per piece. Let's take a look at this. For some reason, you can't copy and paste from that site. Arr! Um, chenille car wash mitt. Uh, I don't even know if I spelled that right. How do you spell mitt? Mott. I said mott. Nothing came up. Do not sell the chenille mott. Oh, let's see, six, uh, let's see if we can find something comparable. Um, nine, 114.40 for 96 of them. Nobody wants to buy 96 of those. Well, you guys could search around that. What's the top one, eight bucks or something like that. This one's a little less sexy, but uh, 99 cents a piece. I mean, come on. Um, <laughs> okay car vacuum cleaners okay oh these ha that's this is interesting auto headlamp eyelashes uh, we saw these when we went down to Myrtle Beach said they actually look pretty cool as silly as they look you put them on your um, your lights and they make it look like uh, your lights have eyes uh, let's see it auto let me see if I can find auto um, car light eyelashes something like that let's see car Headlight eyelashes. Eh. Ah, twenty six ninety nine. Um, boom. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, twenty six ninety nine Mini Cooper 
whatever. Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty good deal. All right, guys, let's see this coin to add to cart. You got to get um, 12 pieces to get it for a dollar six. So big $12 investment. <laughs> All right, guys, talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, uh, Roger. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about different from the videos you saw so far. You want to get on these uh, your local dollar stores, email lists, and and check out their website um, for all these specials and stuff they have, and see if you want to run out and and grab some stuff really quick because they have super cheap buys. And it's just a quick comparison. So I'm looking at these neoprene silicone pot holders, okay, and. Here's the plastic or the silicone ones, and here's the neoprene traditional pot holder. And they're $2 each. So if I go over to Amazon, you know, you can get two of them for $4. And I go over to Amazon, and I look at this. This is the plain Jane version. This is the almost the exact same thing, maybe a different color. Um, actually, they do have the red, so the exact same item as this right here. And these are $8.99 for a two pack of these uh, pot holders and trivets, 21 reviews, uh, 38,000 in kitchen and dining. So you wouldn't even have to think, you could pop yours right in here um, and be the cheaper price. You'll see seven used and new from 769, but they have shipping on those, okay? So let's go over some dollars here. I went in and I plugged this thing in FBA and you'll get $5.15 out. So if you literally got them, they'll cost like, I don't know, 20 cents a piece to ship them into Amazon. So you're making like a dollar a unit on those if you if you end up selling them in this spot and not branding them or anything like that. If you brand them, you can probably go further. Here's two for $15. Here's two for another $15. Uh, here's four for $20, assorted colors, things like that. So it's up to you how you want to put them out there. But here's a great opportunity for branding. Here's a great opportunity and, and no risk, right? You, you could literally go get uh, two of these and grab them and uh, send them into Amazon for fulfillment, <laughs> okay? So I'm trying to make this really cheap for you guys. And you know, uh, as you go through these sites, there's there's all kinds of other things. You can check out pillows, whatever, towels, 250, and uh, vinyl floor tiles, stick vinyl, whatever. You know, just a ton of stuff. I mean, you know, but these dollar stores and things like that. So you can go through and uh, get the deal, head out to your local dollar store, grab them up, and um, and then ship them into Amazon for fulfillment by Amazon. But make sure you're on their lists and stuff like that, and they'll email you all the updates and all the specials and all the coupons and stuff like this. So this one in particular is familydollar.com. And uh, just, <laughs> hate to say it, free money. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Hey guys, Roger here. I'm on dollaritem.com and look what I find, our handy dandy thermos mug stainless steel. Um, a lot nicer looking one and imagine that again with a big sticker of a brown cup of coffee on it, uh, piping up, stuff like that. Sell it for 10, 11, 12 dollars on, um, on Amazon. And uh, real easy to make money. All kinds of stuff on here, all kinds of stuff coming in. Um, to this site all the time. I haven't even gone through all the spell. I won't do all the specials and stuff I'll let you guys be surprised when you get over here some other item that I found over here that I, I think is very interesting is these uh, Charcoal briquettes. It's a two-piece for like a portable grill and they're 82 cents each when you go to search uh, Amazon for charcoal briquettes all you can get is the big giant bag so anybody with a portable grill and stuff like that um, you can sell this it's not even on Amazon it, it'd be a great item to take kind of a flyer on for such a cheap price um, this stuff comes in uh, cases by the way so you would order this one would be one case but on the let me show you on the coffee cups really quickly here um, you would order a 36 piece so you'd be out a whopping $36 and a little bit for um, shipping these guys are really easy to reach um, really great stuff, really cheap stuff that you guys can order and obviously fulfill on Amazon and make a lot of money. Um, so this is something to check out. They're out of California. They got their phone number here. You want to call them, 
get them sent in, get them sent to yourself, brand them, send them off to um, Amazon and simply make money with dollaritem.com. Enjoy guys, just this is so simple. Just It's up to you to just take action. I mean, get a case of these, use one, give one to mom, get a couple reviews, few reviews and, and just rock it out. Have a great day guys, take care. Hey guys, welcome back. Couple of informational things in this video. We are bringing in a very large vendor um, to the event. And I'm not gonna try and encapsulate um, her training and her site and her liquidation products all here in a quick video. We're gonna actually, I'm recording this video May 19th, 2014, um, prior to the uh, DSD um, Life event in, in Las Vegas. So we'll have that recording in here shortly. So if you've just purchased, um, you know, a Genesis and you're going through this and you're looking for more, 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 we just have to get that recording vendor uh, uh, rendered and uh, put out to you. And we'll put that recording right here in Genesis for you of her presentation. It's going to be extraordinary. Also, remember, while well, it's cool to just grab a silicone trivet and send it in there or whatever this thing is in the bottom left here of the screen. Um, from a dollar store or something like that remember to consider branding and it's really as easy as going to have a logo made up at fiverr.com and then finding uh, we make stickers or whatever and getting stickers and it's an extra 20 or 30 cents a piece or something like that put them on your package and remember this uh, this silly example right here the nut milk bag back from the traditional Genesis out of China Number one bestseller in food strainers, 262 reviews, and or this one here, seven dollars and twenty cents. I showed you this exact item out of China for twenty-five to fifty cents, and you probably get a, you know, even if they left ten percent of the time, people left reviews, and it's more like one percent. This is probably thirty thousand sales. All right, if they make five dollars a sale, one hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? Ranked one hundred and eighty-one in home and kitchen. Now, because they branded this. Um, you can't really come down here and drop your exact one in here. Um, this will be somehow somebody that got with this or got this thing, but you can't drop your exact same one down here when you branded it and start trying to undercut this person. Okay, this person here must have somehow gotten a supply of these exact same ones here, or this person here will get them removed because they're the exclusive seller of this nut milk bag because they made it. Okay, so. Remember to use branding if you're gonna go big time. If you wanna just grab some stuff off the shelf, then uh, go ahead and grab some stuff off the shelf. But literally you could get this non-branded nut milk bag from China for 50 cents or a dollar. They've used all of the their ranking and stuff like that to get themselves on page one. And you can come in here for 650 and undercut them, okay? And they're already got themselves ranked 727. So you know you can come in and undercut these guys because they didn't put a little sticker or a logo on here all right so watch for that recording out of las vegas to be in here consider branding as you're looking through all these sites and and take action you know if you're getting in here and you're and you get it and you're ready to purchase from china or from major from a u.s site or whatever rock it out if not, then you, you want to get a few of these. And remember the DS domination guarantee way back on um, three to 10 sales items. And that's not something you want to use. That's when you get your big purchase, okay? You got 500, 1,000 of these. And we'll help you get you ranked. Um, we're not going to obviously go out and buy 10 trivet things at the dollar store and we sell them all for you, okay? This is, that's like a, this is like a, the whole thing with FBA and Genesis is one item that you focus in on and you become the branded person of that item. You're the nut milk bag king. You're the nut milk bag queen. And um, and you're doing everything with these nut milk bags, selling them everywhere, making a fortune with them. That's when we come in at, during your launch and help you get ranked on that nut milk bag. Um, obviously, you don't go to a dollar store and pick up some downy cleaner and then message us and say, hey, I got 10 of these, sell three to 10 for me, <laughs> okay? Um, so all of that, I just wanna cut that video to orientate yourself. I mean, I know you're a kid in a candy store and there's stuff all over the place. But just take action, whether or not it's, you just want to get your feet wet and go through the process and 
order a case of those coffee mugs, get them to yourself, brand them, don't brand them, get them to FBA, get them sent in, see the whole process and get it done and say, okay, wow, this works. Or if you're out using the scanner and you found some Hello Kitty pink bat bags and you want to grab those and shove those in or you just want to throw one in there, for example, or a couple in there and keep in mind the backup things, you're going to be able to sell, able to sell through Facebook, eBay and stuff like that. And I would think if you were going to tread very lightly, you would find something that's lightweight that you could sell on eBay for a break even or make a couple dollars, get into FBA, try and make a bunch of money with it. And... You know, this is certainly not the end of the training. Probably somebody will be watching this video in a couple of weeks and be like, why do you say all this? There's like 25 more videos to go through because I'll be adding them on, adding them on, adding them on. But I hope you guys are really enjoying this. I'm looking forward to hearing all your successes and you guys have an amazing day. Take care. Hey guys, welcome to your uh, Genesis Easy orientation. And it really is just like it sounds, but you do want to go back and look at Genesis Traditional if you're unfamiliar on how to send items in for Amazon fulfillment and all of that. So here's how Genesis Easy is going to work. You're literally going to leave your home. I know that's, that's a big stumbling block for me too. <laughs> and go shopping. And, I, and I'll tell you, for those that don't like shopping, you don't like shopping um, any more or worse than I do. I can't stand it. But for this video and everything else, for this training, I did it. And it wasn't that bad. At first I pulled in the parking lot and it was really annoying. And then I went inside and I know this, this sounds stupid, you're already here, I don't have anything to sell you. But it's actually fun, okay? Now, not the shopping part, but using the app and stuff like that. You're going to go shopping. And you're going to go in, you're going to be able to use your app that you have. Use your app. And when you use that app, you're going to be able to walk up to clearance sections and on sale sections and just hang out. And you'll scan the app and it's going to come back and it's going to tell you if you can make money on the item in front of you. And I put this out, I added this on to Genesis because it's so safe. Because literally you could see 20 Barbie dolls on clearance at Walmart, scan it, see you can make some money on them, and you could buy one. Or you could buy all 20 and put one up for sale without sending it into Amazon, and then if they don't sell, return them. Or you could send one into Amazon or a couple into Amazon or whatever you want, and after you send those into Amazon, you just kick back and you wait for sales and literally you're going to be shocked at how much people pay overpay on amazon when you find all these clearance items you can do anything from food to clothes to whatever you can imagine uh, tj maxx walmart big lots is a big one if you have that in your town uh, I mean, I just went to a couple different places and it kind of just blew my mind as I was scanning things. I probably scanned four things and uh, found two things in, in you know 10 minutes. One of the things I scanned was a Target exclusive, so I couldn't find it on there. But just going out and scanning stuff, um, I was able to find money and send the product in and start making money, making sales on that. And it's really out of your pocket. You literally leave with a shopping cart that's valued at like four, five, six hundred dollars come home, put stickers on the dang thing, send it into Amazon and title it and call it a day and just wait for sales to come in, okay? So this is Genesis Easy. This is the, the premise of it and uh, go through the training and uh, check it out and welcome to Genesis Easy. And again, if you're not used to fulfillment by Amazon at all, go through the traditional videos. It'll show you how to um, get your UPC codes or it'll show you how to get ready for uh, setting your product into Amazon. All right, guys. Enjoy the video. See you on the other side. Hey guys, I want to welcome you to uh, Genesis Easy version. This is um, where you're going to walk around the stores and point your phone at something and it's just going to rain money. <laughs> really, I mean, there's no other easier way to put it. Um, this site here, it's we don't often go outside of DS Domination with um, software. Um, 
and we'll be designing our own app. It'll be out shortly after the event. Please don't write in and say, where's the app, where's the app, where's the app um, that we're putting out that's going to replace the scan power with DS Domination. Um, it'll be out as absolutely quick as possible. But this is the app I put on my phone and uh, it's called Scan Power. So you'd actually go to scanpower.com and when you get there, it's going to take you to all this stuff and then it takes you to the pricing. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and go over to the pricing, click here and load that up. Now, when you first type in apps on your phone, you'll type scan power, all one word, and then the uh, app will come up to download. After you download it, it's going to ask you to buy like a scan power data pack. Okay. I didn't test any of these. I just bought the $59.95 a month. Okay, I wanted to make sure I had the best thing on my phone. All right. Um, if you want to try and go through here, they have a two week trial, looks like. You can try it here. Um, at the time of this video, so they got uh, for UK subscribers. Go ahead and click here. So, UK subscribers can use the uh, Scan Power app as well. So, after you download it, you're going to end up with this uh, lightning bolt uh, type symbol down here on your phone. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into uh, various stores and you see this little barcode up here at the top. When you open your Scan Power app and click on this barcode, you're going to be able to scan the UPC label of anything in your stores. Okay, so you're going to go to clearance aisles and sometimes you find great deals that aren't even on clearance. And it'll come out and it'll give you a printout on your screen and will tell you exactly what your profit will be all right if you sell it on there it'll show your suggested profit on the screen what you kind of want to look for is triples all right so if you see it's ten dollars in the store and you go on here and it's selling for 30 on amazon that's a good product or it's five dollars in the store and it's selling for 15 on amazon that's a really great product the only thing it doesn't spit out here is your cost to ship it into amazon now if you're unfamiliar with FBA fulfillment by Amazon, you're actually going to be using Amazon's UPS and they ship so much their products are cheap. I mean, we did a demo earlier it was like a 25 pound product and it cost like $13 or something. We made the box really huge. So, you know, a regular item will cost you three or $4 to ship it in. Some guidelines for you when you're searching in the stores, a um, couple different things. One, a lot of companies put their own uh, UPC sticker on the package. The, like Marshalls will put a UPC sticker of themselves on the package, but you look on the box for the UPC code, okay? And that's what you scan. Um, two, when you go into these stores and walk around, at first it's a little bit weird. Um, I was putting them in my cart and kind of going down an aisle and then uh, scanning with my phone. It takes, a, it takes a couple times to get used to because when you click this barcode on your phone up here, you got to bring it in close and then just pull it back a little bit. And then all of a sudden it snaps and it picks it up and then spits it out. Okay, some guidance you want to use general guidance is uh, in all the categories, a, a ranking of 100,000 or less. Okay, so you're going to go by rank and you're going to go by price. If you see 100,000 or less, it's more than likely going to sell in a couple weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. Um, and then you want to triple again, like we talked about. So you're going by ranking and price. In books, you can go up to a million. All right, Amazon sells books. That's their bread and butter. It always has been. So if you find an item that's over 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 in books, go ahead and grab it up as long as the pricing is right. So you're going to go ahead and you know some suggested things you can do i'm going to give you some more tips in the next video but this is scan power grab it on your phone um, and then they'll ask you to buy a pack you can read through this i i just use the 59.95 we have no affiliation with scan power whatsoever um, we'll be rolling out our own app so if you want to try something a little bit cheaper and see how it works for you feel free but i, I use the 59.95 a month and and been having great success with that. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Hey, guys, welcome back. Here we go. Um, you should have your Scan Power app by now. Picture package out, or if you want to wait for our app to roll out, that's completely fine. 
Um, I'm on the scan power support. And the reason I want to go here is because when I downloaded scan power myself and I, I was at like the pivotal screen, um, I think it was something to do with a, a, some sort of inventory message. Um, and I went to um, try and solve a problem. Let me see if it was under solutions, the one that I have. Uh, change my subscription. No, it's not up here. I went to solve a problem that I was having and I came over to the knowledge base and the, and the help support system and my answer was right there. I had to go into my settings and there was four boxes and I had to scroll one up to get rid of it in my settings and then everything's worked absolutely amazing. So if you have any problems at all in um, you know getting scan power to work for you, there's all kinds of questions over here. There's a great support ticket. These guys are very fast, okay, to help you guys out. So I'll post this link down below this video so you guys can go over there if you have any problems downloading your app. And I'm not an app guy, all right? I don't deal with apps on my phones. I use my phone to call people. Weird, I know. So if you're not an app person, neither was I. And I was able to come over here and just type in the error code or Google the error code and it'll bring it over to you. So not saying there's going to be a bunch of errors or something. I just experienced one when I went through scan power myself, but I went out and there's a couple different apps out here that does the same thing as scan power. Um, but scan powers results are a lot more potent, um, and, and has a lot more better data there for you. So if you run to some sort of error, I want to make sure you have this scan power support form here. They respond very quickly and in their FAQs and stuff, they have everything answered there. Also, there's some great uh, tips and tricks down here that'll help you guys. Um, so you should check those out and just a ton of information here on the site. So you wanna go check out uh, the scan power support if you run any problems and, and cruise over here uh, before you go out the first time and get some tips and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, I want to give you guys a couple uh, tips and tricks and all kinds of crazy things when you're out there scanning items. One, you're not going to believe when you first get out there, you're just you're just finding items like crazy. Okay, sometimes if you're not in a clearance section, it takes you a little more time, but you, you should focus on clearance sections and sales and stuff like that. But I'll tell you a story. I walked into Walmart and got a fryer that was like $26 that sells for $129 on Amazon. It wasn't on sale. It was this little portable deep fryer thing. So check around. I mean, don't start with the clearance and stuff, but, uh, you know, make sure you, you spend some time on things. Um, brand name things, you know, if you're looking at bedding, Grab, look at Disney stuff that's on clearance, Disney bedding, stuff like that, all right? You know, whatever's popular um, out there, stuff on clearance, you can you can sell anything, gadgets, electronics, anything you can find out there on clearance and on sale, go ahead and uh, hit those items and you'll you'll do very well with them when you, you check them. You'll, you'll just see what happens when you get out there. You're like, I can't believe it works. Two, um, if you're nervous, uh, test the waters, okay? Go out there, there might be 25 or something on a shelf and it fits. There's less than five um, FBA sellers on Amazon, for example. That's a good guideline to go by. These are other sellers that are selling it. Um, look at them. It'll have abbreviations after. It'll say FBA seller, $39. G, meaning good. Um, it's So it's not brand new. Um, $44 bracket N close bracket, which uh, it looks like this. Um, that means the seller has a new one. Um, very good, meaning it's in good shape. Okay, so you can look at the FBA sellers and kind of get a gauge for what they're selling it for. Um, it'll also, your app will also display the Amazon price if Amazon's selling it. So you'll find a lot of items that Amazon's not selling at all and there'll just be an FBA seller and you can just go by that top seller and kind of gauge uh, what prices to charge for the item, okay? Um, and when you're testing the waters, if you see like 20 or 30 or 40 or something on a rack um, that, that fits all the qualifications, just grab one. Grab one, um, put it, go through the fulfillment process, send it into Amazon, okay? Or if you're really nervous, grab one, put it on a pretty low price on Amazon without shipping it in and just keep it in your house. And if it uh, doesn't sell, just bring it back to the store and return it. 
Okay, you'll have to play, pay a little extra shipping and you won't get as much prominence and stuff like that, but we're gauging stuff with this 100,000 rank to sell in a month, okay? So you want it to sell in a month. Now this has nothing to do with the DS domination guarantee. We're not gonna have you guys go out and pick out three items uh, from Walmart at the store that's on clearance and put it up and ask us to get all three sold for you. Okay, this is a totally different animal. So um, we wanna sell them in a month. So if you, you're nervous, um, go ahead and uh, just grab a few. The other thing is September is a big date, okay? In September is when Amazon cuts off its toys. They have such a huge toy season that you can't send any more toys. Now, if you were with me last year, I heavily advised to stay away from toys because Amazon and online sells out of toys like 60% of their items, 70% of their items are gonna sell out of. So if you went in and uh, you went into a Walmart or something, there was a clearance on Barbie dolls. And you looked it up and it looks like you can make a dollar or break even or make a couple dollars. It's up to you, but you could grab them all up and then hold them or send them in to uh, FBA and just put your quantity as zero and not activate them. And then as we get closer to Christmas, turn around and activate them or wait to see if they run out of stock. And if they run out of stock, instead of making a dollar or two or breaking even, you can charge whatever you want on the planet. <laughs> okay, you could literally sell a $20 Barbie doll for $100 if it's out of stock in stores. Try it, you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? Also, if you're going for it, you get it, you got some sales doing this, you're freaking out, you're going crazy, you're going around scanning things, call mom. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you walk into your local Target and there's uh, 20 Hello Kitty bat bags for eight dollars, and you, uh, you're you, you're good at this, and you're making sales, and you realize, hey, I'm going to grab them all, call mom and have her check her Target and her state or her hometown or whatever. And mom, can you go to Target, look for the clearance, should be in this aisle, and grab up ten of these Hello Kitties and stuff like that, and then get mom to send them in for you. Just call Amazon, the FBA, Seller Central and uh, just get some guidance on that, okay? These are some really good tips and tricks to uh, super boost your sales. I'm, you, you'll see what I mean. Like, if I, I'm the worst person about leaving the house and going to a shopping center, and I'm semi-addicted to this, okay? So you'll see what I mean. You'll see what the excitement's about, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. See you in the next video. Hey guys, I want to just shoot you a warning video, okay? Warning, uh, foods and liquids. <clears throat> foods and liquids. Okay, any type of food, <clears throat> Amazon has an expiration date of 90 days, okay? So if you, um, if you send something in to Amazon, they're gonna look at the expiration date. It's gotta be at least 90 days out from when it gets there or Amazon's not gonna fulfill it. Okay, so since it might not sell right away and it might sit on their inventory floor for a little bit, you want to look at um, dates, expiration dates that are at least um, six months out. Okay, that's number one. And keep in mind when you're buying toys and stuff like the Easy Bake Oven and stuff, they actually have little food samples in there where the kids mix up the muffin and brownie mix, and you'll have to see if you can see that expiration date on the package. All right, the other thing is liquids avoid if possible um, Amazon is very picky about liquids being sent in okay so this is like uh, you know your Disney princess stuff hair stuff that they wash their dolls with and things like that so avoid liquids of, if possible so you don't you don't get a bunch of stock I mean you can return it and stuff like that but it's about a bit of a hassle but make sure to avoid liquids and only foods that are um, six months out, okay? And, you know, bear in mind that you're looking at any, I mean, you could find an item and send it in and sell it the next day when it gets there, but a month long is a good fulfillment time um, for Amazon on, on any product that you send in. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Talk to you soon, thanks.
Hey guys, uh, Roger back. I alluded, touched on food expiration dates and stuff like that and kind of equated it to uh, being in Barbie packs of baker's ovens and things like that. But food, believe it or not, sells on Amazon.com and a couple good sources for that are um, Costco, your local Costco. Let me uh, see if I can get that font there bigger for you. Uh, you guys all probably know what Costco is though. Knock it off, silly font machine. Damn, there we go. Um, your local Costco, you will find deals there. Your local Sam's Club, um, Aldi's, if you're familiar with that. Um, don't know what part of the country you're going to be in. Um, also, dollar stores. It, it's just madness. Um, liquidation centers. We have uh, a lot of our beta testers going out and getting stuff, and it's just it, it's just stuff you wouldn't even think of making money on um, the the mix for the Red Lobster uh, biscuits. Red Lobster has these cheese biscuits that everybody loves, and they sell the mix in Costco. And the way it was priced out, I'm not sure how it's going to be when you see this video, but you could actually triple it, send it into. Uh, Amazon FBA. I have no idea why they just wouldn't go get a Costco card and pick it up themselves or they just don't know or what the deal is, but you can make money with that. So don't uh, knock food out. Big Lots is also huge on food and a great supplier for you for a lot of different things to go make money on. So just keep that in mind. Believe it or not, you can walk into Costco and Sam's Club and do this um, and make money with that too. So you're going to be astounded uh, when you start doing it. Um, but there's some uh, general tips for you to help you get started. Talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. In the coming weeks, um, I'll be rolling out um, live trips to the store, people's examples, uh, more concepts for you, preparing for Christmas, things like that. But... I'd really like to make it more um, techy here so I look intelligent or something, but it's really just as easy as download Scam Power, go out there, we'll have our own app out shortly, and I'll have to reshoot all the videos, Tesh does that to me on purpose. And then I'll go out, and of course it'll be cheaper um, for everybody, if not free, we'll try and get as cheap as possible. But uh, go, j just go do it. Pick, pick three or four places you know have sales. Um, Marshall, or I'm sorry, yes, Marshall's. Marshalls for me was uh, like fish in a barrel, um, one. Um, two, uh, Target was uh, decent. Big Lots was like just grab everything off the shelf, make a bunch of money. Um, but go out and test it out. Um, just get involved with it and you'll be blown away too. You'll see the scanner that you can buy and stuff like that. You don't need that in the beginning. It's just another added expense. Just use the camera on your phone. Just go out and grip it and rip it. You're going to be totally blown away um, when you do it, I promise you. And uh, watch for follow-up videos coming out here very, very shortly. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Hey, guys. Welcome to Genesis Dream. Uh... I don't know what to exactly to say here. I know Kevin went through it, all, all the videos that I cut, and he, he was like, there's only one video in Genesis Dream. There's just not anything else to do. Genesis Dream costs more money. Not, not to you to like buy anything from DS Domination, but Genesis Dream is all about my relationship with a gentleman who was the former VP of Mattel, okay? And he has huge experience in China. And I know growing up as an entrepreneur, I was always uh, interested in inventing a new mousetrap. Now, mind you, keep in mind, if you're starting on this video, all of the other training is not about inventing something. This is completely unique. And I know there's a lot of people out there that were entrepreneurs and they, they, in their mind, they built a better something. And this is, this is an opportunity for you to bring that better something to market through a relationship that I have with a former VP of Mattel and his relationships with China and stuff like that. So all Genesis Dream is about is you reaching out via email um, to this gentleman 
and you're completely protected. He'll give you the price quotes and everything. He'll come back, ask for a schematic. You can practically doodle on a napkin. He's going to sign NDA so you're protected, and then he's going to give you the steps on how to bring this to market and things like that. So it's only one video allowing you to reach out and connect with this gentleman, being a part of Genesis. And um, it, it's a lot more pricey than all of the other Genesis, okay? But I want to put this in here. I know there's a wide range of people. That's why I have Genesis Easy, where you just need an app. Genesis US, where it's cheaper. You can buy a smaller quantity. Genesis um, Traditional, and um, this is why I have all these in here. So this is the, the expensive one for people who have um, some some liquidation um, available, some cash available, and have always wanted to design their own product. I think it was necessary to be in here, but there's there's not much to show. You just connect with this person and they take over. So anyway, welcome to Genesis Dream. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.